the game on Saturday, the incentive can be that if you hmm. win, you can go above Harlequins. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, that top four uh, position in the league is very important to us. That's what keeps it all very exciting because ultimately then we can we can really fight for something. But um, we traditionally play some very good games against Harlequins. Uh, should be a good surface and a fantastic stadium to play. So first and foremost, we're going to prepare for a, a very good game of rugby. Uh, when we're involved in good games of rugby, we normally do we normally do pretty well. So yeah, we're, we're, we've got a we're looking forward to the game. We've come through a tough six weeks, and what we've managed to do by beating Newcastle is, as you say, make this game make this game a massive game because uh, someone's going to be pretty happy going into the new year, and and one of us will feel a little disappointed. So. Um, no, it's, it's going to be very important in the bigger picture of where we want to be at the end of the season. You mentioned the venue, that is somewhere you dearly like to bring a result from, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I suppose traditionally our last few visits there as a club side um, haven't been great. You know, we've been, we were involved three or four times there in the championship uh, and didn't kind of see off the, 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 the finals that we were involved in. Uh, so for us to go back there in a league fixture uh, in front of a sellout crowd, it is going to be a fantastic opportunity for us to show a lot of people what a good side we are and I think that's the important thing. Now I think we're really understanding that when we get these big televised games, uh, our players as individuals showing they're good players and, and showing ourselves as a good team is very important uh, for where we want to head as a club, which is to have some international recognition for our players, uh, but also to prove to people that you know we're a genuine top half of the, of the table side and, and we want to keep progressing every year. Are there certain areas you think that you have an upper hand going into the game or conversely weaknesses that you think you can take advantage um, of? Well, I mean, all you can really go back to is the games we played against Harlequins recently and we, we did well against them last year, but I think we did well against them because it, it's ultimately normally a good game. You know, they, they like to play a lot of rugby as well and play at the high tempo, we do. Uh, and all we've managed to do in the last, uh, last couple of fixtures is just shade that battle and, and come through a little stronger than they have and maybe be a little more clinical with the, with the opportunities that come along. Um, as I say, traditionally quite a few try scoring opportunities happen in the game, so relatively high scoring games. And as I say, we've, we've got to make sure that our focus is being very clinical, creating as many opportunities as we can and at the same time limiting what, what Harlequins do because we know they're a very, very good attacking side, one of the best in the country. Um, and as I say, you know, it isn't going to be a day where there's not going to be attacking opportunities because of the quality of the, of the stadium uh, and the pitch. So it's going to be interesting. It'll, it'll be hair and scare and stuff and I'm sure it'll be a thriller. But really, you know, that, that's the point of playing in a big game. You know, if we, if we can't go and fulfil a really good fixture at Twickenham, then, you know, there's, there's not a lot of point, 80,000 people turning up there. Coming up to the midpoint of the season, and mm. momentum really is crucial, isn't it, because of the way that the table is shaping yeah. up at the moment? That's right. I mean, you look at the top couple of sides, they look like they're stretching away a little bit now. Um, and so if you really do want to be involved in those end of season playoffs, you have to show some quality now because it'll take a little bit too much catching up for us. I mean, traditionally, we do finish the seasons pretty well. Um, but as you say, you know what we can't do is let teams get too far ahead of us because, um, you know, it, like I say, it becomes very difficult then. But at the moment, we're right in the battle. Where, like I say, we're a point off where we where we'd really like to be, which is in the top four. But at the same time, there's a couple of teams just below us who are, are fighting to get above us as well. And you know, ultimately, top half of the table is where you've really got to stick because that gives you the big European games, which are very important to us. But obviously, you know, if you're in the top six, you've got to be aiming for top four, or else um, you know, we're probably not showing quite the ambition we should be as a side. And instrumental to that is having key personnel, mm. having that squad together, and trying hopefully keep free of injuries. Yeah, we're relatively injury free at the minute. We're pretty strong. We're, we're pretty happy with where we are. We picked up one or two bumps and bruises over the last couple of weeks, you know, and it's the usual stuff as, as one tidies up and we, we get another one. But um, we, we feel pretty comfortable with what we can select. We we slot players in and out very well. You know, we've got a very competitive team. We train very well and train very hard. And we don't really have too many issues with the guys coming straight into the team and, and playing very well. I think we've seen that with Don Armand uh, over in Toulon. We saw it with uh, Kai Horseman this weekend. Um, so, you know, you know we're, we're ready to go and we're ready to bring in players when we need to, but uh, we're very confident we can select a very competitive team this weekend. Thank you very much.